not to get too relaxed to keep the gas pedal on as the fight continues. Look like this might be an early night. McCullum, he just don't, he looks a little timid in there. Is a promoter, puts on some fights in British Columbia. So really any way to make ends meet in the boxing game for well, Stuart McClellan. And that's, how, that's how you gotta be sometimes when, when you're on your, your path to becoming the world champion. I think there's definitely a, a feeling amongst his trainers and his managers that want to see him fight a little bit more of an entertaining style. And it's something Buddy McGirt told me beforehand that Janabek is definitely cognizant of, definitely working on. We'll see if Janabek Alim Kanuli can get rid of Stuart McClellan as his corner hopes he can do without Stuart, going to the cards. Well, Stuart don't look like he's facing anybody like Janabek before. Crisp left hook landing. And an oh. uppercut with the right hand from Johnny Beck. Johnny Beck is just kind of doing what he wanted to do in there. I'd like to see him go back to that jab. Goes back to the jab after a solid left hook to the body. Over the hand, over the top with the left hand from McClellan. And then McClellan gets served a right hook. Oh. And a left hook follows. <laughs> back wooing in the face of McClellan. He's still in, he's in his groove right now. Definitely more emotion than we've seen John Beck fight. Oh! A big uppercut from John Beck Alim Kanuli puts McClellan down. You see, he was trying, he was setting it up all along, throwing that little faint jab, little faint jab, but then caught him, caught him with that little uh, short. For John Beck Alim Kanuli, what has improved? over his last few fights. Looked like he, he, he gained a little bit more power. He's just settling for one shot. Well, McClellan's corner telling him to throw punches. Please, please throw punches. He's gun side right now. He keeps trying to bait Jonabek into the corner. Jonabek wants to fight in the center of the ring. The uppercut was what scored the knockdown in round number two for Jonabek. I know what Buddy mean when he say he wanted his fighters to get meaner. Mm -hmm. you know, it's good. It's good for the record when you see knockouts, cons right. cons consecutive knockouts after knockouts. Well, also what Buddy was telling us before the fight was he doesn't want to see what we've started to see here a little bit in the fourth from John Beck, which is if you're winning the fight and you're clearly the better fighter, look for his angles. He comes through with the left hand. McClellan shakes his head, but he has had no response. If you want to be a top entertaining world championship type fighter, yeah. your trainer's going to want you to go after him. Yeah, you got to, hey, you got to push the, the opponent to the limit. And we'll see what kind of direction Aline Kanuli got from Buddy McGirt in the corner during, during the break. As McClellan caught in the corner, this is a chance for Donabek to step on the gas pedal. Oh, in his career so far, returning pro two years ago. <laughs> he asked me, was that punch good? What about this one? Overhand left from Donabek. And a right hook as McClellan was trying to slide away. You gotta stop this fight, man, because it, it ain't doing, it ain't doing, uh, McCullum no good to continue to get this beaten. This is where fighters get hurt at. Another left hook, and McClellan is down for a second time in this fight. Punched over, McClellan has nothing to give, and the corner from McClellan is about to stop this fight. Left hooks. And Rudy Badagan, before the towel could get thrown in, stops the fight with just seconds to go to here in the fifth. <laughs> Janovic looked at him like he's been looking for that all night. Then he just goes in here, right here, and just let his hands go. And, and that is where Rudy Badagan, the yeah. referee, stepped in. And it was simultaneous to McClellan's corner throwing in the white towel. 